So here is the uh, Arduino circuitry running with the program Blink. And you'll notice it's blinking now uh, one blink per second. And if I come over here and we take a look at how this is put together, just like they said, we've got a, uh, a wire here running from 5 volts over to uh, the power bus. We've got a negative, a black wire that's running back to ground. That's our negative or ground, so the anode and the cathode. Uh, that powers this entire line right here. Um, we have a green wire that's running from, it's a digital port running from pin 13 over here. And then if I turn this a little bit sideways, we might be able to see it. Uh, it comes in, let's see, let me get this red wire out of the way. It uh, comes in right here on uh, the same row as the first pin of the LED. And you'll notice that the LED bridges down to the second row or the third row down. And then on that row, I have on that same row a resistor coming back to the ground. So that actually completes the circuit there. So if you look at it, we have a, uh, in, in this case, this is actually has uh, electro electrons or electricity flowing through this wire. Um, every second, uh, it is on and it's off for a second and it's back on for a second. So you notice that we have, have that running here. Um, so the electrons will run through this green wire to that first pin to the second pin through the resistor to ground and then ground back to the Arduino. And one of the first uh, things I asked you to play with is to uh, see what happens if you were to take out some of these wires. And if I were to take out the red wire here, that is the 5 volt wire, you'll notice that nothing happens, nothing changes. Uh, the light continues to flash beautifully. And that's because when they made the circuit, when they drew this, they actually put some wiring in that wasn't necessary for the circuit. So that's uh, one of the things I want you to, to actually play with and, and see. You'll notice that if I take out the uh, black wire, um, so you notice that the black wire now is out, it stops blinking. That's what actually breaks the circuit. So you'll notice that the red wire wasn't even being used in this circuit at all. Um, another thing I asked you to do was to take out the LED and to spin it around. So if I take this out and turn it and put it back in backwards, you'll notice that uh, it no longer functions correctly. And that's because it is a diode, a light emitting diode. And remember from the other video I showed you, and probably in the reading, you'll notice that one leg of the uh, uh, connections here is longer than the other. That's your anode side. And if you look really close, and it's hard to see on here, but you can certainly feel it, one side of the LED is also flat. And, uh, and so that'll also help you figure out which side the... Uh, uh, the anode and the cathode are on. So if I put this pin back in um, correctly, we should be able to go right back to a flashing LED. And it looks like we are there now. So, uh, and there's some other things I asked you to play around with too uh, that require you uh, to, um, you know, maybe move uh, this from 13 down to 12. And if I move that down to 12, you'll notice that the light stops flashing. So it's telling you that we're actually controlling, the program is controlling port 13. Um, so I'll put this back over into 13 and we've got it working just fine. And also you may have noticed in the uh, in the earlier program or earlier video I mentioned that this little light on board, on the board itself, is uh, actually uh, uh, connected to pin 13. So anytime I mean, we could actually run this entire program without any wires whatsoever, and you'll notice that it works. It's just that it's working with just this one LED that it's actually uh, plugged in. And so here's the resistor for that, and then here is the, the LED. So um, you'll notice that this thing actually works uh, without anything. But of course, it kills everything in the prototyping board because there's no power going to it any longer.